So you guys may be wondering what this video is about, um, and I'll kind of fill you guys in on this. So when I was having my concrete done in my barn, I kind of got a little anxious and started to think of things I could do while the car was packed away. So I ended up drilling my factory axles out to 5 8 And uh, these are actually a 5 8 stud that's a press-in. It's pretty common with like uh, dirt track racers. And the problem with that is, <coughs> I didn't think I had a problem at the time. Um, but I went to go put my slicks on, which are aluminum rims, over here my race stars. And they actually were too, <coughs> they were too, uh, the aluminum in them was too deep. So, um, with these studs here, they were two and three quarter inch long. And then they have an easy start end on them, as you can see the last, you know, bit of it isn't threaded, half inch I would say. So what I run into is I didn't have enough studs sticking out to actually bolt my rims on. Uh, so what I ended up having to do, this is all after I bought new rotors and drilled them to 5 8 pressed in the studs. I went to go get longer studs that were coarse thread, which I wasn't really a fan of. And they ended up actually not being the same neural. So you can see these are longer, but they're actually loose in the in the uh, axle flange. So I had originally thought maybe I should weld them to the axle, but not wanting to take a chance with it, I ended up actually buying a new set of axles from Motive Gear, which are these here, and these are ARP, I'll list the part number, I want to say they're 7703 or some variation of that. But the axles were like $70 brand new, and the studs were, I think, $40 for five or $38 for five of them, you know, times that by two. So uh, I guess I'm just making the best of it, and we're going to keep moving forward. This cost me a bunch of time here, so... I guess the lesson of the day is if you want to learn from me, if you're just trying to get the car on the road, half inch stud is more than enough. It's This is a foot brake car as, as it sits right now, so it's not going to be snapping studs off. Um, I wasted a lot of time and money. I still will use these axles probably on my 55. Uh, I'll just pound the old studs back in the two and three quarter it'll run a steel rim anyway so yeah if you guys want to learn from that um don't get too anxious trying to get ahead of yourself just you know stay in your zone keep doing one thing at a time write your goals down and try to hit them every week so uh thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video